Hey guys, and today I'm going to do a uh, cleaning video. Um, usually do one or two cleaning videos after you take the guns back in from the range. Uh, this is no different. Uh, this is my prismatic dueler. It's a dill barrel 45. I took it out to the range uh, today, put about 50 rounds through it, and now we're going to go ahead and clean it. Let me just show you it's empty. Okay. back, lock the slide. There's nothing in there, physically, expect it, just dirt. Okay, um, let me just tell you about the Prismatic Dueler. Prismatic Dueler is a dual barrel 45. Uh, this is made in uh, Italy, Arsenal Firearms. They make other guns. This has compensated ports and uh, has ports on it, ported, compensated, lightning cuts. It is a dual firing pin, dual barrel, dual takedown, everything's dual on it. Dual triggers, uh, extra wide uh, beaver tail safety, grip safety. So let's go ahead and take it down now. And uh, first thing we're going to do is take down the recoil springs out and the bushings. All you do is move it a little. Uh, you'll see the difference on guns that are highly mated. Let me go ahead and put a uh, piece of uh, paper towel in. Clip that in there. Okay, you'll see the difference when they're highly mated parts, which means they fit very good. Here too, just move it back, comes out. Go ahead and uh, hammer back with your slide to take down notch. Push with your finger. My finger is not long enough, but this is so easy to get out. Just push a little, it falls right out. I love stainless steel guns because stainless steel guns never scratch. I'll bring it down a little closer. Okay. Flip it over, take it apart, lay your slide down. Lay your frame down. And that kind of dissolves it into what parts there are. Pull your barrel, push your barrels forward. Take out your recoil. This is your recoil spring. Okay. Put it off to the side there. Gotta take our barrels out. There's two barrels. Put your links down. Slide forward. They are smoothed on each side like that. That means your barrels can only go in that way. They are numbered. See there's a number five on there. You can see that. That's the serial number. Okay. And now let's go ahead and clean it. I have a numerous amounts of cleaning compounds here. I have pore polish. It removes copper, traces, and polishes it. I have a carbon remover. And then I have my Ultra Lube. These are all Wilson Combat products. Uh, it's not that they're the best, it's just that at the time when I was ordering some stuff from Wilson Combat, I decided to order that. I also use a handy dandy cut up toothbrush. Uh, where is it now? My little cut up toothbrush here, which is great for rubbing. So let's go down and start our work. First thing I do is I'm going to lay this slide off to the side in the frame. And uh, I will take my carbon remover and I'll put it kind of saturated under it. Okay. And then I will get my slide and I'll get in there like this. And I will get around the breech face. The breech face is this part here. Slides, side, as best I can along the rails. Get up in here. Okay. Line it back down. I have a paper towel 
spotting that off. And I will apply one more time some carbon remover compound. Do it above the slide because this way excess will drip on your slide. And again. Get up in here. You may think about it, if you have a toothbrush that's carved out like that, it'll fit in all those crevices. You can get in there, but no problem. Get it down again. Wipe it off again. Now it's dry. Go ahead and use your paper towel. You'll be surprised how fast that cleans it up. Get in there with this too. You can use actually the other end in. Stick that in there. Two. I mean it works. I mean you may do it any way you want. This works like really good for me. And it definitely cleans it up. Then you're going to want to do, it's good to have a few um, Q-tips in there. So you can get in there with Q-tips like this. Closer down here for you. Really nice, get it very really nice and clean in there. And then you could do it up in here too. Kick it in here. They won't be too dirty in here. And that looks pretty good. Hit it again. I bring this back a little. And you could pass this paper towel through there one more time if you want. Pretty much cleans everything up in there. See, it's all looking pretty good. Pretty much cleaned up. You'd be amazed that carbon remover works really good. Okay, and you can just wipe down your recoil rods. It's not a buggy. The buffers. Okay. Next, you're going to do your barrel. Wipe off the excess oil. Then you want to get inside the barrel. Clean out your links. And let's go ahead and what I usually use is just something like this. Um, I don't, I have a wire on there, but I put like um, tissue paper on there. So it doesn't rub against my barrel. And I'll just take this like this. I get the carbon mover here. Let's just go through it. I'll take this other barrel and do it. Okay, the excess. Just peel it off. 
And we'll put a little bit more on there now. And we'll do this barrel again. Barrel down. And now I'm going to take some of this here. This is board polish. It's a copper remover and a polish. Just going to put a little in there like that. The barrel, you'll see how dirty this gets because this removes really moves a lot of copper. Look at that. So how it gets. Copper and carbon. You see, I don't really, I'm not scratching the barrel because I have this cloth on here. This is just lightly inside here and um, it's pretty shiny in there. I'll put another shot of this in there. This is really good stuff. And then I will take one more paper towel, take that off, garbage, get another piece, I actually got three guns to clean tonight, because I took them all to the range, it's the hardest part, cleaning the damn guns, it takes the most time, firing them is nothing. Okay, that's pretty much enough. Very clean. I'll just do this one. One clean, uh, oversized paper towel through. This is a little oversized, so it's going to be a little hard to get through, but I'm just going to run this oversized one through. See the dirt that's coming out? That's got a shine on it. And I clean this all the time, so... That one's a little dirty there, so I'm going to put one more patch there. And this should be plenty. So you're not spending a fortune when you use it like this. You buy all them damn patches. That's good. There you go. And then you can take a paper towel. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the frame. Having your toothbrush with carbon remover, wipe the towel off. Carbon remover, and let's get to the frame. Get in there. Oh, that dirt is. You can see it too. Get a ball in there. Just go closer, you can see. Get up in there. Wipe that off again. Put a little bit more carbon cleaner in there. You don't have to put as much as I'm putting in there when I do it in. Just, just want to make sure it's real clean in here. Inspect all your components, disconnectors, pins, everything, detector. Okay. Wipe it again. Now we're going to go ahead and get in here and wipe this again.
take this like we did before. Push it through, it'll come out the bottom. Okay, throw that one away. Got another paper towel here. Pretty much clean as you can see it. Now we'll get out Q-tip again. He's still a little dirty, but don't matter. Okay, and actually we got it pretty clean. So now I go ahead and start reassembling it. And then we're gonna oil it while we reassemble it. So here's our lube. Here's our lube. I usually put in this link here I put a little bit. Just like it just a little bit. I'll go ahead and on the rail sides here. In there, there, and there. Just put it in there. And I'll put it in here where the barrel logs are going to go, the bushings. And I really don't usually do anything with the recoil rods because they get, they're pretty lubed up. Make sure this is forward. Goes in like this. And then the other one. That's got to be forward again. Okay, they drop in like that. Like I say, it's not that hard to put together this 1911. It's pretty simple. Um, I think higher end pieces of equipment have better tolerance. That's the frame. You're going to put a drop there. You're going to put a drop there. I usually put a drop here and here, um, drop there and there, here, here, and right near the uh, slide safety. That's about it. You flip it upside down. This thing comes together. Okay. Down. You line up your locking uh, lugs, link, barrel links with the hole. Drop that down lightly. Slide back your slide to line up your hole. Line it like that. Slides in. Okay, see how you do that? Bring this forward. Because it'll be easier to get it in this way. Okay, wipe down uh, these like this. These really don't get dirty. Put that in. You're going to have this in. And, uh, That in, press that down, snaps in, this. down, slide that Put it back like this, and and your gun is together. Cycle it. And uh, you can wipe off some of the excess oil in it. But it is, like I say, a very easy gun to put together.
And there you go. It's pretty much fully assembled. And that's the prismatic dweller. And it's just cleaning it. Really, this gun is a dream to clean. I'll tell you that. It's uh, such a nice uh, piece of equipment. You know, it's so uh, streamlined. It's ridiculous. But that's a prismatic dueler uh, doing cleaning after the range after about 50 rounds. And thanks a lot.